Hibernian reserves the visitors to Lennox Town for the Reserve Cup semi-final on a typically cold and rather wet afternoon. Church, this is good. Link-up play by Celtic. Daniel Arzani getting involved down the left-hand side as well. The space ahead of Arzani just trying to cut inside the Hibs players. Good possession play from Arzani. Leaves that one for Daniel Church. He's brought down and that's a good play involving Arzani and Church that leads to that free kick. And a yellow card. Arzani over this one. Likes that one towards Luca Connell on the volley with the left foot. I think it may have taken a deflection. But that one looks as if it was straight off the training ground. Arzani to Luca Connell. He was completely unmarked, about 20 yards from goal. And he makes no mistake with a volley. 1 0 to the Young Celts after 18 minutes. There's Arzani. To create space for the shot. The shot's headed out, but only as far as Karamoko. Dembele in off the underside of the crossbar. We're in injury time at the end of the first half. And Celtic, through Dembele, have doubled their lead. The cross was initially headed clear, but Karamoko there was just waiting on the half volley, and the keeper had no chance. The second half then, Hibs looking to get back into this game, but they've lost out. Now Henderson, the ball through to Patrick Klamala. The chip from Klamala into the goal. It's one for Klamala, his first goal in the hoops, and it's three for Celtic. Just six minutes into the second half, and that's an accomplished finish from the Polish striker. Celtic dispossessed on the halfway line. Chance then perhaps for for Hibs to create something up front. Well, that's good forward play and the ball's in the back of the net. Hibs have managed to pull a goal back after just 64 minutes. So I'm sure Tommy McIntyre and Stephen McManus won't have been happy to, to see the Celtic defence let that goal in, but forward comes Celtic again, straight from the kickoff. It's Karamoko Dembele on his own. What a finish from the youngster. And Celtic restore their three-goal lead just seconds after Hibs had found the back of the net. Celtic answered with this. So a great performance from this uh, young Celtic side as we head towards the final minute of the match. Perhaps a chance to grab a fifth goal. It was defended well though from Hibs. Danger still not completely clear though. That's a rash challenge on Barry Coffey. And that's a sore one for Coffey. And it's a red card. Hibbs will finish the game with 10 men. A great score for the Young Celts into the cup final. Tommy, congratulations through to the Reserve Cup final. What were your thoughts after today's performance? I thought we dominated the game, you know. You know. We had a really strong side today, you know, one or two first team boys. Um, so it's always nice, it's always a nice mix, and uh, particularly for our young players as well. Uh, but I think, in terms of the, the kind of ages, it's probably similar to the Hibs team. But I thought we dominated, scored a really good goal, uh, came off it a little bit, but I thought the manner in which we scored the goals was excellent. Yeah, you mentioned it was a youthful squad, but you must be pleased as well to see the first team players come in and it work out in the way you want it to. Yeah, 100%. And I know sometimes it can be difficult, but you know their attitudes have been first class and uh, we keep saying that. I mean, that's how you know, we all learned was from, from first team and experience. And uh, when you get that, then it's a big help to some of the younger boys. But we've had a lot of good young boys who have done really well also, so it's a kind of step up as well. Um, and it's nice and, uh, as I say, it was really good, good performance. You must have been delighted as well with the reaction after Hibbs's goal. Yeah, what a, what a great time to score. I think I think you know two incidents. One, we, we get the second goal just on the stroke of half time, which makes the the half time team talk a little bit different, a little bit easier. And then you get the goal after we go, you know, three one and Hibbs score, and then we get the reaction. So I thought reactions were great. I thought, as I said, they managed the game well. You know, there were some good individual performances, and probably a big plus as well was getting Kerr McEnroy back. He's been out for. You know, nine months. You know, take him back and get thirty minutes. You know, it's great for him. And now a, a cup forward, a cup final rather to look forward to. Yeah, I think uh, this is the club. You need to, you know, you want to win things. You know, you, you need to get used to cup finals. You need to get there in the first place. So it's good for the young players. It's something we can look forward to. Karamoko, 
4-1 and through to the Reserve Cup final, you must be delighted. Yeah, it's great for the boys to obviously beat them and get into the final. So we played well as well, so it's a positive. And for yourself individually to grab two goals? Yeah, we yeah, waiting for that brace in it. Yeah, but it's nice to it's nice to get two goals and help the team win. How is it playing with I know you train a lot with the first team, but when they come in and play with the reserves, yeah. does that just give you an added incentive when you yeah, go out there? Hundred percent. It's like um I always try and be a leader on the pitch in every every aspect. I always try to get goals, press with the team, just try help the team win. Obviously leading leading by example, coming down from the first team as well, is good to like help the reserve boys. And your first reserve cup final as well to look forward to? Yeah, it's great. Looking forward to it.